All right, we're going to um, talk about section 1.6 today. It has to do with ordered pairs and relations. Um, basically, we're going to talk about our Cartesian coordinate plane or a coordinate system, and it's made up of two number lines. You basically have a number line right here that is your x-axis and a number line right here that is your y-axis. The very center of those two number lines right there is what we call the origin. Now, every point on this Cartesian coordinate plane is named by an ordered pair or an X and a Y. Um, the origin is named by the point 0, 0 because it's 0 on the X axis and 0 on the Y axis where they cross. Um, but let's say that I want to find the point uh, negative 2, 3. This is my X value. This is my y value. So my, I'm going to go over negative 2 on my x-axis, which is right here, this line right here. And then I'm going to go up 3. So I go up 1, 2, 3. So that point right there is the point negative 2, 3. If I wanted to graph the point uh, 0, 5, then I have 0 on my x-axis, which is right there in the middle. And I'm going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you should be able to put an ordered pair on a Cartesian coordinate plane. So let's practice here. Okay. I have the point 4, 1. So I go over 1, 2, 3, 4 on my x. And I go up 1 on my y. If I go down, it's a negative. If I go up, it's a positive. So this is the point 4, 1. 4 on my x, 1 on my y. If you will, that's where they intersect right there. The point 3, 0. I'm going to go over 3 on my x and up 0. Now you try, I want you to graph the point 3, 4 and the point 0, 2 and then pause the video and come back to it. So I have the point 3, 4, which is this point right here. I went over 3 on the x-axis and up 1, 2, 3, 4. This one, I have the point 0, 2, so I go over 0 on my x-axis, which is right in the middle and I'm going to go up 2. So that is the point 0, 2. Now, you've also got to be able to go backwards. Let's say um, I had that point on my coordinate plane. You have to be able to look at that point and name it for me. So what I do is I find out where it lines up on the X. It lines up at 3. So my x value is 3 and on the y it lines up at 5 so this point right here is the point 3 5 um, if I had this point over here I have gone over negative 4 on my x-axis but then I didn't go up or down so it is the point negative 4 0 all right, now I'm going to put a point on here and I want you to name it. And then come back to the video and we'll decide whether you named it correctly or not. So pause the video and then come back. This point right here is the point negative 4, negative 1. This point right here is the point negative 1, positive so that should have been your answer for those two. Now, relations are the set of all x points. Um, or relations is the, the relationship between x and y. And when I have a relationship, the domain is the set of all x points. The range is the set of all y points. A relation can be shown in several ways. It can be um, as a series of ordered pairs, like negative 2, 3, 0, 5, 
2, 6. I can turn around and I can put those same points on a table. So I have x and y. I put the x value there, the y value there, the x, the y, the x, and the y. Or I can put them on a graph. I have negative 2, positive 3. Now it's easier when you have a piece of graph paper. I have 0, 5, and I have the point 2, 6. So, ordered pairs, table, graph. Let's do some more. Okay, I have these ordered pairs. I want to put them in a table form. Notice how I've named them A, B, C, D, and E. That makes it easier to see when I put it on a coordinate plane. So I have the X values, the Y values, negative 4, 1, 0, 5, negative 2, negative 3, 1, negative 2, negative 2, 0. So I have the point negative 4, positive 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, it's right here. I have the point 0, 5, which is right there. I have the point, so this is A, this is B, negative 2, negative 3 is this point right here, and that's going to be C, and then D is 1, negative 2, and E is negative 2, 0, which is right there. All right. Now, you try, go ahead and take these ordered pairs, put them in table form, and then put them on the graph. And then, so pause the video while you're doing that, and then come back to it. Alright, so here's my table, here's my x values and my y values. 2, 3, negative 3, 0, 5, 5, negative 2, negative 2, and 0, 0. On a coordinate plane, I have the point 2, 3, which is A, negative 3, 0, which is B, 5, 5, which is C, negative 2, negative 2, which is D, and the point 0, 0, which is E, which is on the origin. So your homework for this is on page 36 through 37, 12 through 23 all, and 31 through 36 all.